Hey guys, welcome to Farming Simulator on Cobra Park Farm. So, moment time. Now, in the comments the last time someone sent mentioned about the reason the price differences and the different color is one is used and one is brand new. Makes so much sense. It really does. So, uh, apparently I got a used one, so just to check. Now what I was thinking is if it was used, the maintenance is probably probably going to be pretty high. Five hundred a day. They're both five hundred a day. That's extremely expensive. That I'm going to edit in the uh, thing and lower that down. There's no way you'd be fi paying five hundred a day on that. That's ridiculous. So we're going to get these set up on a field as well. From this field, where did I say I was going to go? I kind of forgot. It's probably going to get that one to go into there. Get the class down there somewhere, maybe. Really forgotten. Uh, yeah, it's going good. We are going to have to drive into the field, but it doesn't matter. Some that you can see where it missed when it was doing it. Again, it really doesn't matter. It does, but it doesn't. I'm not caring. Is the right way of putting it. Another thing is I wanted to say is a lot of you got confused what I bet meant by the last video in changing vehicles. I am fully aware on how you change vehicles on your, your controller. Like this noisy hearing in every video of mine is me flicking through the um, vehicles. What I didn't realize that Mr. Moose told me is if you hold control it will flick through the vehicles that are on. So right now there's two vehicles on, both the combines. So I'll push in control and tab. I flick to this one and again to this one and again to this one and again to this one. Now I believe shift tab uh, brings up that. The steam window. If it showed you but on the controller I can flick between this back but I can keep going if I do the left or the right pad do the so these are off and I'm flicking between the two if you guys see what I mean I was questioning if there was a way of doing just between the only two running vehicles possible because I'm only going between these two I'm not going further back that's what I meant but I don't believe there is a way to just go between the running vehicles on the controller Another thing I'm seeing quite a lot of people asking is... Didn't mean to do that. This, up here. The info. That's called Glance. It's from FSUK. Mr. Moose has done a mod list that I'm stealing. <laughs> so a lot of the uh, mods from there I'll be doing up one. So in the next week or so, there will be a mods list, guys. Because me and him share pretty much the same mods. Well, he doesn't mind me doing at all. He said he figured I'd be borrowing that. So I'll get that hooked up at some point. So you guys get the beloved mods list you've been always asking for. Am I going to make that? Yep. What field did I say I was going to do? Field 3 is done. Was it going to go over to one? Oh, we would have done one. No, we don't even own one. What the hell? Six is done. Three is done. Six done. Three done. Let's see if one. Four. Five. 
Oh, this one's just done. Yeah, this is full. So I guess we can load up into that one. Okay. I want to get that going, then I can. Get mowing, like I said I was going to do last video. Pretty sure I did anyway. So after playing a quite a while with my mouse and keyboard, I love them. <laughs> I really do. The keyboard's awesome. Mechanical keyboards are so nice. See what all the sort of rave was about. And mouse map. I'm gonna be ordering a new one. This one, it's screwed. It's about time I replace it. I've had this probably ten years plus. I've had it for a long time. It's beaten up. It's got a chunk out of the pad. At one point, it was in junk. At the family house. And it was buried, so it's got an imprint of something that was on it. That was heavy. My big criteria for a mouse pad is that I need a wrist support. I definitely miss not having wrist supports when I'm playing. Games and whatnot, and I found a mouse pad, a Razer one, funny enough. That'll obviously work really good with the mouse, because it's the mouse is a Razer. So I'll be getting that. Probably order that up today. Today being uh, Sunday. Are you going to be okay or are you going to freak? You're going to freak. Okay, he should be okay. You cool? It's cool. Go empty this. So like I was saying today is Monday's video, tomorrow will be Manchester map, Wednesday will be forestry. I have got it pretty much set up, just need to go in there and start countries. So basically got the equipment in I like. Uh, all I need to do is nuke the money that I can do in the game. So there's no worries on that one. You seem to like the idea of me running three maps a week. Be something different. Be a way to include agriculture and forestry. A lot of people want the forestry. So it's only about time I should do it. And especially if it's a map I enjoy playing. You be driving so well too. The sad part is, is it will just carry on going if I do that. I don't get it. I really don't. Okay. How are you? Oh, you know, should be fun. Hmm. Anyway. I really want to get my way. Oh, this needs fuel. We've got a fuel tank down here. We do. Actually, we'll see. We'll see how it does. this type of mowers. There will be probably scrubs, but I don't care. Out of the trees with a hedge. Now what would be really cool in this game, especially for the people in the UK and whatnot, is if some way the map would add in like you had to trim the hedges down. Is this something you see all the time in the UK. By all the time I don't mean every single day, but 
You do see it, the farmers cutting the hedges, making them nice and neat. Just adjust them over there. So it's the first time really using this mower in anger, let's say, actually in a field. Instead of testing it to see if I like it. And I do, it is a good mower. Um, people may ask where I got it from. I got it from one of these off-brand sites, as I call them. Uh, just search John Deere Moco Mower, and you'll find it. I cannot remember the website I downloaded it from, so uh, better than mine. Another thing I'm seeing a lot of is people asking about the console version of the game. And stated many times in the videos, but I'm probably going to end up having to do a video on it. Even though I don't play it, but... It I know, you cannot mod the game. So that's a big question I do see. I get it quite a bit. Why I don't know, but you is it a lot One thing I am quite surprised about the console is the older versions of it, you can't even have multiplayer. It's surprising. It did surprise me. Oh, something's going to be full. One of the lexicons are finished. Mm. into that. Okay, makes sense. How full is that? Uh, very. So I'll ask this question for the next time we end up playing this map. That will be Thursday. What do you want to see planted next on this one? Because this, the harvest will get quite a bit of money. So what do you guys want to see planted next? What type of crop? So I'll leave that out for you guys. Another thing is on Manchester map, you'll have a little surprise tomorrow. Basically, uh, there's a new forage harvester that come out that I was testing that's still in there. I wanted to try it on some silage. Then maybe staying on that one actually. May add that one in and sell the other one. Whatever money I make from selling the other one, I'll just take out. Fair to do that. I can't remember if I've touched on the subject, but a lot of you did comment back and saying about the Chrono Cargo X or whatever it was called. The fact that Israel and some big contractors use it, so that's pretty cool. And I do remember seeing one of you linked a video of it being used attached to the back of the chrono, uh, made into an articulating forage harvester. I remember seeing that video, it's pretty cool actually. Definitely interested. And I, I could definitely see why they would use it. It would save so much time. But it is a big piece of equipment. Just happy to so carry on mode. I 
thing I like about this motor is you can pretty much stay on the same line and follow it. So I did a live stream yesterday, me and Saturday, on The Hunter with Mr. Moose. Kind of went okay. Uh, I think everyone was a little quiet. Everyone was very quiet, surprisingly. So I may end up streaming after I get this video rendered. Later, that'll take around an hour. Probably car mechanic or something. May do it for a couple of hours. Contemplating on getting a game called Trains. Squirrel did a video on it. And it looks okay. It's I used to have the old version come way back. I'm just wary on whether I should hit the button on that or not. I'm not too sure yet, to be honest. Apparently it has multiplayer, so it could be a bit of fun. I don't know. really don't know. This mirror is really nice. It may take some time, but I'm enjoying it. saying you pretty much just follow your tracks. Pretty simple. Back. You see it. I do really enjoy this map. And the good side about this map is I got lots of FPS. <laughs> Unlike Manchester, I'm noticing it's getting worse for FPS in the farmyard. But it's probably because of the amount of vehicles I've got, so I may start nuking the stuff I'm not using a lot. So I'm still using these JCBs a lot, to be fair, and they're nice, they're really nice tractors. Never liked a DLC this much from Giants. Uh, what's Glance saying? Finish, finish, finished. No, you are not one of you, maybe. Why are you effing up so much? Something to learn. I should have done the head myself. You, I know you are, are finished. There's a good new Holland. So for recording on Manchester, I'll probably need to lower the graphics down to medium. Right now I'm playing them on high, as you can see, I've got working mirrors. But as for playing on Manchester, no point of even having it on high because you can't see the mirrors. Stops them from working. Another reason the FPS maybe lower points in this one is because I just remembered I haven't set my graphics card to the gaming settings I usually do. So it's probably running pretty warm right now. Are you stuck again? Oh my god. You're so stupid. We are seriously thinking about upgrading these combines though. I think that's going to be the next purchase. Is we'll find. Probably open up a save. And. Another game save of this. Just to see. What the best combine would be. Thank you. I'll follow you anyway. Oh, you've got plenty. Back to mount. Because we could do with a bigger combine and get more done and more efficient. Less maintenance. Like I say, the maintenance on that is ridiculous. The fact they're both 500. Let's 
I'm not sure I'm appropriate though. No, no, maybe not. Nice, look, fastest. Yeah, it's pretty stupid, but anyhow, I'll adjust it myself. I know how to do that. Pretty simple. minutes already well. Anything we're missing is some music. There's a radio in this over there. Not modelled. Wow. Surprising. Or is it down there? No. Surprised it didn't model it. Get some hit the diff play. Everyone's probably heard that song is awesome. I don't know what the copyright is on that, but if I could I would play it in this. Especially a tumble of this. Have it playing softly over the commentary. It's the problem with having music in YouTube now, you've got to be so careful because I've sting you for copyrights. And once I've done that, because the ads in the video, you might as well just re-upload. It's irritating. To say the least. So what we'll do is after we get this all cut, we'll come across with the tether. No, we won't. We'll win row because we're putting this into signage. May not even do that. May even just come along with the wagon. I think that's what I was going to do. I forgot. No hay. On this one. Could actually just do some round bales. There is an there is an idea. Because I believe we have the round. I'll have a look. I oh, know once we've got it cut on the ground we can decide. Because we've got that bale extension mod in, I don't think that's updated. I'll have to check. So if it has, I need to be updated. To be fair, having a mod list myself would be good. I can go through the mods and like, yep, that needs updating and just click on my links. At some point I'll do a how to mod farm soon. It's been out for a while, but I know there's always people asking. Nine liters. One's blocked. Why are you blocked? Why have you not moved for a long time? Okay, I'll leave. We may need to bump a quick fast time in. Alright, it's freaking out because I can't drive. Alright, it's really on that one because it could. It could, but it, the game doesn't know what to do. Is that game is so stupid. Yeah, the, the, see the new Holland pack I've got, many of you probably know which one it is. It's on the beta section of Farm Sim. The rims are black. Did they have a special edition that were black? Because I don't like it, I'd rather have the proper colours. There's also a small John Deere combine, I believe. Uh, that one's using it. But again, that's a small one. Also, that's got a bigger head. Sense. 
So we're going back to the grass can. I'm really not sure whether we do silage bales or padding silage. Let me know, guys. What do you want to see? Like I say, it's going to be a couple of days since until you see this again. There you go, Moko. Do you want to do Moko? 956. Surprised this isn't on one of the main websites. It's a pretty decent mod. Unless it's one of these mods that wasn't really supposed to be released. Like the John Deere discs that I use on Manchester. That's a whole different subject there. I'm looking forward to doing the forestry. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Equipment we have in there so far. Can you see the prop shaft down? Oh, you can too. I've never seen that before. Well, I've already set the game up on this one. Is uh, the Unimog, of course. Had to be. We have first day mod reviews processor. People may be at that going, that thing's junk. This one works well, it works with course play. It's the tracks still look messed up. I hope to god they fix that, but whoever he's teamed up with now, they've got it functional and it's working nicely. They just need to get proper tracks in. That they'll do given time no doubt. That one there is going to be a bitch to follow. Oh well. So we have that in. I believe I still need to buy a forwarder, if I will. We have Timbers, I think it's Timber that does its uh, truck where it's got the crane on where you can load up the logs. Uh, we have the skidder in there. I think that's about it right now. Skidder? No, skid steer and skidders. We have two. Again, both Timbers. Let's face it, Timber's got the best stuff in the forestry right now. Hopefully he's still working on his big John Deere. I don't know if it was a fuller buncher or what, but he's he was working on something. He had the model for it. That was a John Deere forestry machine. Tracked. It looked amazing. When that comes out, it will knock tons off of first day mods, review stuff. And he'll probably use them himself, because... He did a video just a little while back defending himself. I get where he's coming from. He wanted something that he sees, he uses. The model wasn't good, but it worked for him. I understand that. It's just a shame it really didn't work for so many people. So I'm surprised he did publicly release it, instead of just keeping it for his videos and if people asked. It was there. Just get the track sorted on that one of his and good to go, really. As a excavator based forestry equipment. I'll probably mow this now to the end of the video because we are done. I really don't want to fast time, but we may have to. And we're going at a good speed, go back and camp. A lot of you like the first person stuff. Now track AR using a mod is enabled on this, I don't know how well it works. The track I is not cheap. Otherwise I would probably hit the button on that. So I could actually physically look in my head. That'd be fairly quick I would imagine. These turns are that I'm well off. Now I'm about to sneeze. So I'm going to meet my mic. And I did. Sorry about that, guys. Pretty sure you didn't want to hear me blow your eardrums out to the other side of the room. Oh, 47 litres. Whoa. Do I make a loop? Yeah, a little. Is that the far furthest stretch it will go? Pretty much. 
See, it's that turn I couldn't do inside the car. Not nicely, anyway. I imagine this would get boring in real life, I don't know. Really don't know, but... You know, I'd say here, if doing a lot of it, it would probably get boring, but... Get the radio on. A nice cold drink in the cup holder, wherever the cup holder would be. Probably behind the, on that seat, if it's folded down. Oh, I screwed that up, didn't I? Put the radio on, and why not some tunes. Be good to go. I wonder if John's got the windscreen wipers working yet. I don't know. For anyone still watching the video, has anyone tried the beta patch? And is the beta patch better than the original beta patch they come out with? I may try it for tomorrow's video and see what it's like. I'd definitely try it for the forestry, see if we notice any issues. With that, hopefully not, but you never know. figure out what we're doing, whether we're doing silage, bales or silage and the thing. I don't know yet. See what the comments say, if anyone says. If not, I think I may do a few bales. can use the uh, telehandler for that. With the locking script on the bale of trailer. That would be nice, so we will put the mod in for that. I think that's what we'll do, actually. We have another field to know that I may do off camera. This is actually quite enjoyable. This grass of my son, bitch. I was hoping it was nice rose, but it's not. Maybe it is. I don't know. Could well be actually. Yeah, this is where I screwed up earlier. That in the corners if I miss them. I already don't mind. It's actually quite a big field of grass. It's nice with Cobra Park Farm is they do have grass fields set aside for the animals. It's pretty sweet. But it is one to one scale, realistic as possible. Guy used to either work or live on the farm, Bullet Bill. Can't remember if he, which one it was, grew up on the farm maybe. I don't know. But. Fantastic map. Easily the best English map out there right now. I've not played many more because I've been enjoying this one so much. A lot of people have asked, well, I say a lot of people, a couple, have asked for Woodside. Coming up to 35 minutes, AC. Let's do this last stretch in first person. Pretty quiet actually. Oh, you can see the mirror in the mirror, that kind of. Thirty four litres of fuel, too. Not bad, not bad. Level up. How's that turn? That was actually half decent. Learn. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. 
mown grass and cut in fields. Until tomorrow, I'll catch you next time. That will be uh, Manchester Man. <laughs> Alright, hope you guys enjoyed.